Hello, Jonathan Wagner here from solidsymes.com and today I'm going to show you how to dialyze a protein. So um, what I've got here is some protein fractions that I just alluded from nickel agros. They have a lot of imidazole in them, so I want to dialyze them into a new buffer without imidazole. And to do that, I have um, regenerated cellulose dialysis tubing. Um, this is a smaller, smaller molecular weight cut off than the protein, so it'll keep the protein in but let buffer uh, diffuse back and forth across the membrane. I've also got some bag sealing clips. Um, these you can get on Amazon. Yes, they work pretty well. I've been using them a long time. Um, I've got scissors, stir bar, um, beaker with three liters of the buffer that I want to dialyze my protein into, pipette, um, and I've all already got four of the clips opened up so that when I'm holding the dialysis baggie, I don't have to worry about unclipping them. I, I'll just slide them on. So I have about, well, I have exactly five mils of protein. So I'm gonna cut off about four or five inches of dialysis tubing and dip it into the buffer and get it wet. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take two of my clips and clip them onto the bottom of the dialysis tubing, making sure that the clip goes all the way from one side to the other. Um, I use two clips so that you know I have some insurance just in case one of my clips does have an issue, I don't lose all my protein. Um, and then I'm going to kind of worry the top of the bag back and forth with my fingers, dip it back in the buffer, and what happens is there's just about half a mil of buffer in the baggie, and you can see gravity has pulled it down to the bottom of the tubing there. So I know that the tubing is open and ready to receive my protein. Uh, but first I'm gonna just turn this upside down and squeeze out the buffer. Um, and now, I'm ready for the protein. So I'm going to open up my protein fractions, worry the top of the bag a little bit again, hold it on the side, and put the protein in. Now I'm going to be dialyzing this protein overnight at four degrees. Hopefully it likes the new buffer that it's going into, otherwise it may precipitate and turn cloudy. Um, so we're going to hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, it means that the dialysis is working at least because we exchanged buffers. Okay, so the protein is in the bag. I'm going to smooth out the top again so there's no wrinkles and then clip the top, making sure to leave a little space between the protein and my clip so I don't squeeze protein into the clip. Okay, so I'm gonna put the protein um, in the beaker full of buffer, add the stir bar, and then I'm gonna take it over to the fridge. So here I am at the fridge. I want to show you how I got a magnetic stirrer inside the fridge. Um, this is the power cord to the stirrer. We drilled a hole in the side of the fridge, ran the cord through the side, and put a little bit of insulation in the hole to keep the cold air in. Um, hopefully your lab has something like this that you can use. If not, just make sure to get permission from your lab manager before drilling holes in the sides of the appliances. Um, but this is our setup. You can see I have a magnetic stir bar and a stirrer that's going to mix the dialysis buffer um, with my proteins overnight. Uh, I've actually got two proteins dialyzing into the same buffer here. So um, tomorrow morning we're going to collect that and um, move on to the next step of purification. 
Um, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit like or subscribe. Also, if you're interested in protein purification services, please check us out at solidzymes.com or email me, jonathan at solidzymes.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.